When the Supreme Lord descends from the spiritual world to the earth to enact his transcendental pastimes, he brings with him his intimate associates, friends, and servants, along with various paraphernalia, including his own abode, just as when a king goes to another country, he takes with him his ministers, secretaries, bodyguards, and friends. The Lord's abode, also known as Dhamma, manifests within this material world, is no different from the original abode in the spiritual sky. To visit Sri Vrindavan Dam is not just boarding a plane and uh, booking a taxi and there we are. We need special mercy from Srimati Radharani and Krishna and I'm so happy that they blessed me to visit Sri Vrindavan Dam after one year of absence. So now I just arrived in my apartment and the first thing I did was of course I took a shower, put on tilak and sari and now I'm unpacking and washing some clothes. And then, of course, the next thing is taking darshan of Shri Shri Radhishyama Sundar Krishna Balaram and Shishi Gornitai in our Iskon Vrindavan Mandir. There is a shoe stall when we just enter, we put the shoes and we are given a number. <laughs> After the darshan of the deities, I went to Srila Prabhupada's house, the place where Srila Prabhupada left this world on the 14th of November 1977. And it was very special that on that day they were selling Bhagavad Gita's to be donated later to poor kids. So I donated one Bhagavad Gita. After taking darshans, I headed to my favorite restaurant, 11 flowers to have some lunch. my friends I'm back in my apartment it's end of the day and I'm totally what the Germans would say fix and fertig 
So tired from two days of no sleep. I'm gonna rest now. I don't think so I will wake up for Mangalarati, but after that, when I catch up with my sleep, I plan to follow my sadhana quite in a very fixed up way and visit some temples and other holy places around so I can show you. So see you soon again. Shubharatri, Radhe Radhe, Jai Shri Vrindavan Dam Ki Jai!